हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वील गोइंग टू डिस्कस नेक्स्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सिस्टम अंडर द एम्ब्रेला टर्म मॉडर्न इंग्लिश स्ट्रक्चर द टॉपिक द ऑर्गन्स ऑफ स्पीच एंड द सिस्टम today which we are going to discuss is known as the phonatory system friends in the phonatory system only two organs of speech which we are going to study first organ of speech is the larynx and second organ of speech is the vocal cords friends already we have seen that how organs of speech are working very important role in pronunciation of all the languages of the world all languages are pronounced with the help of pulmonic aggressive airstream mechanism in this sense we are going to discuss the next system the phonatory system as far as the phonatory system is concerned we found the first organ of speech include in the phonatory system is the larynx what is mean by the larynx uh, larynx is situated in the upper part of the trachea which is the upper part of the trachea that structure is called the larynx the larynx formed of cartilage and muscles what is the function of larynx larynx primary function is to act as a wall you know wall when necessary for example it closes off the air from and to the lungs and also prevent food from entering the trachea so uh, larynx functioning as the walls in our air stream mechanism it prevents to enter water or particles of the food into trachea so this is the first very important organ under the phonatory system friends the second important organ of the speech under the phonatory system is called the vocal cords friends from just uh, look towards me it's the uh it's the front part of the prominent in the neck it's the front part of the prominent in the neck it is commonly known as adam's apple here this part is commonly known as adam's apple situated inside the inside the larynx is a pair of lip like structure called vocal cords situated inside the larynx is pair of lip like structure are uh, called vocal cords vocal cords are placed horizontally from front to back joined at the front and separated at the back as they are separated at one end they can assume large number of positions for example uh, they have two vocal cords have many positions but for english pronunciation or for this paper we have to study only three positions vocal cords assume three important positions the first position of the vocal cords is known as vocal cords drawn wide apart friends vocal cords are lip like structure situated inside the larynx and when vocal cords in situation of drawn wide apart at that time 
glottis is open when vocal cords are drawing uh, drawing apart glottis is open and air easily escapes through glottis and when air easily escapes through glottis at that time there is a no vibration in our vocal cords and when vocal cords not vibrates means in our vocal cords there is a no hum sound is produced and due to uh, not vibration and no hum sound produced uh, in this situation sounds pronounced uh, are called voiceless sounds i repeat no vibration no hum sound hence sounds are known as voiceless sounds for example the initial sounds the initial sounds of the following english words are voiceless sounds for example pen ten cot chair film thin sin shit hot so all these sounds are known as voiceless sounds no vibration no hum sound is there for example p t k ch f s s sh h these are voiceless sounds friends the second situation of vocal cords is vocal cords held loosely together when vocal cord held loosely together in this situation there is a narrow gap created in glottis and due to that narrow gap when air escapes through glottis vibration is there in vocal cords and when vibration is there in vocal cords naturally hum sound produced and due to the hum sound production sounds are uh, become voiced so in this situation sound produced are known as voiced sounds in this situation when vocal cord he- cords held loosely together sounds known as voiced sounds the initial the following words initial sounds are known as voiced sounds for example bed b dead d get g jug j man m nest n red r light l very w then z zing z well w all these are initial sounds are known as voiced sounds the third very important situation of the vocal cords is vocal cords held tightly together friends when vocal cords held tightly together in this situation no air escapes through our trachea it means that when vocal cords held tightly together no sound produced means glottis closed this is the situation of vocal cords when uh, we eat or drink so these are three very important syst- uh, uh, very important position of vocal cords which are under the second very important system of organs of speech that is the phonatory system friends this is all about the phonatory system in my next video we'll going to discuss the second system that is the articulatory system please subscribe my uh, channel and uh, just we togetherly try to learn uh, various important things from uh, field of life and uh, literature thank you